Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2 Episode 3 of Season 2 of Two Year Eternity. This is gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I don't want to watch this. <laughs> They awaited. Okay. I wonder how long you're going to survive, sir. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I'm guessing you've been, what, disowned? Because you're a male? I mean, obviously. <laughs> I, I really thought he was genuinely going to rip his arm off. Seriously? Mm -mm. 
You think on uh, okay, never mind. People, <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh. mm. and this is why I don't like kids like that. You know, I love them. I do love kids. They're adorable. But at the same time, be like, bruh! Yeah. Yeah, no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, no, I'm not gonna get a <laughs> No! <laughs> Why don't you transform as Goo Goo? There you go! Okay, March? Yeah. I mean, but he might be a a, a a potential friend. You just gotta. Oh. oh. Great. This dude got a mommy complex or something. I mean, this is the guy from the opening.
What is that name? Not really. You kind of seem a little arrogant, in my opinion. <laughs> Especially with the fact that you have someone you <laughs> you're using as a cheer. Doesn't seem like a lot. You can take them. Hey, we don't want that. Not with the new guy. Yeah, they're nice this time. Not like, you know, the ancestors. Can you at least let them go, though? I don't even know what to say right now. <laughs> Till the end of time. Once again, arrogant. Uh. to see the world and <laughs> Do 
Don't trust him like that. Mm -mm, don't be like that, Fuji. Jesus. <laughs> they got maggot. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love the fact that he's so protective of Fuji. That's so cute. That's your dad? Where's your mom? Uh oh, okay. Not the hair, though. Oh, she's cute. And she probably gonna die, though. Oh. But of course, Fuji also has a copy of her diary as well. To think that her diary would be sold. Mm. But why though? She wrote it for Fuji and Fuji only. So. I like the guys in the op oh oh uh, okay there's this dude and he of course I even though I feel like the prince is gonna be the bad guy th this one right here this leader the priest leader oh he's definitely bad guy material 
it wouldn't surprise me if like they might end up working together. No, you could just trans. There you go. And leave. Jesus! Because he doesn't want to be here. That too. And if you die in the process... I know, because we've lost so many. I mean, heck, the fact that they're also showing what's the face with Ari, like, I mean, we just saw him, but still, yeah, you can kind of now consider him, like, gone as well, so he has to be dead. Because I'm guessing it had to be, like, a, what, a couple of years later? Well, no, like, ha a long behind time, yeah, 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 yeah. Because what's her face is still alive, so yeah, he's really gone. Can't do that. I mean, I'm still skeptical on, we're going to call him Prince Peach, okay? So, I, I'm very skeptical on Prince Peach. I mean, mainly because of the opening and seeing, like, the two different sides of him, the way how he is when he is around his his people of his city and his kingdom and such versus the other picture that he was in where he's in, like, a throne and there's a whole bunch of women around him and such. Now, he could be eventually corrupted by the priest. Um, but I could be wrong. That's the biggest thing. Anything can really happen from here up until, like, the next, what, two or four episodes. I do feel like he is going to give Fuji his army because, of course, it is bound to happen. I mean, especially because of the fact is there's characters in here who we have not been, you know, introduced yet in the opening. Um... So I'm guessing they're going to bound, they're bound to show up in like the next couple of weeks, like three, I'm going to give it like three to five weeks and such. But, um, I still don't trust Mr. Prince Peach, nor the priest. So I'm probably going to end up eating my words in the next few <laughs> weeks. But I hate the fact, like, Fuji, Fuji just wants to give up. And I, I hate that. I know that feeling where we all truly just want to give up on something. We just don't want to be in this situation anymore. But... Right? Or is he a foe? Because just that smile, that smile, and then that right there. 
it, he it's like he's putting on this facade the way he's around like i said his people of his kingdom versus like you know when he's around fuji so he's a completely different person that's why i'm looking at him a little sideways right now but as i was saying like i completely understand with fuji wanting to just end it all the next time when he sees the knockers and such and the fact is the black one is literally like if you do that you're just gonna restart you're gonna forget everything everyone who you've met from episode one up until now and you're just gonna restart you're gonna start all over again and you're going to have to deal with that pain again probably even worse than you did the first time and such do i think fuji is going to get attached to prince beach probably not because I, I, i'm not really sure because it's just he he's weird he to me he, he's now officially the weirdest character in this show but um I'm, I'm all going in for now. I could be wrong and he could eventually like have a good friendship with him but the way he just the facade and how he is as of right now I'm like yeah this dude's a no for me like bring on the next person because uh, like because I'm guessing like for him he's only last in about four weeks or four episodes into the show and then he's gonna die. It wouldn't surprise me if he dies within the next two episodes because we know the knockers are eventually going to come to this kingdom and such but he he really wants Fushi to be positive and to not give in to you know the knockers and despair and such and that if he does he'll be there to save him but let's say he, he he's not so there's like a lot once again there's a lot of unanswered questions with this because like I said, he could be a friend or he could be a foe. So yeah, like I said, we're going to be looking at him a little sideways these next two to four weeks. And then if he if he ends up being a friend, then yeah. But if he ends up being a foe, it's time for him to go. That's all. <laughs> like seriously. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode three of season two of To Your Eternity. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday when I come home from work for episode four. Bye, guys.